The largest variant of the Boeing 777 is the 777300 and its extended range variant, the 777300ER. Let's take a look at the two variants to pick out what the differences are. It's not possible to make the Boeing 777-300 and the 777-300ER comparison without going into details about their specifications. While in general we can conclude that the main difference comes down to range, there are also some differences in the construction of the aircraft. Specification-wise, the two planes are relatively similar, although the 777-300ER has about 4 meters longer wingspan. However, the passenger capacity, height, fuselage width, etc. are the same across both models. Both types have a length of 73.9 meters or 242 feet and 4 inches and a height of 18.5 meters or 60 feet and 8 inches. Let's now look at range, the biggest difference between the jets. The range of the 777-300 clocks in at around 5,845 nautical miles or 10,820 kilometers. Of course, this varies depending on the aircraft's weight and choice of engines. The 777-300ER has a range of 7,370 nautical miles or 13,649 kilometers. This is a pretty extensive range, flying about 1,500 nautical miles further than the regular Dash 300. Boeing's Board of Directors authorized the 777-300 program on June 26, 1995. The first aircraft, however, did not roll out until a few years later, in 1997. The 777-300 made its maiden flight on October 16 of that year. Almost five years later, the 777-300ER made its first flight on February 24, 2003. Since then, the variant has become the best-selling 777 variant and has also performed better in sales than some of its competitors, like the Airbus A330 and A340. The 777-300 is a great aircraft for flying a lot of passengers a shorter distance. Thus, it's no surprise that the 777-300 has been popular in East Asia, where customers like ANA and the Cathay Pacific have used it on high-demand shorter routes, such as between Hong Kong and Singapore or Tokyo and Shanghai. Meanwhile, the 777-300ER is designed for extended long-haul travel. This is best demonstrated by Dubai-based Emirates, which uses its massive 777-300ER fleet for service to destinations all over the world. Ultimately, the different characteristics of the two jets mean that they will be used for different purposes, but it's clear from the orders logged by Boeing that most airlines prefer having the longer range of the Dash 300ER. Combined, the two aircraft types have racked up 951 orders, however the Dash 300ER has been much more popular with 880 or 92.5% of the orders. Interestingly, of the mere 71 Dash 300 jets ordered directly from airlines, all come from East Asia. What's your favorite airline to fly the 777 with? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.